how when it comes to loans and mortgages how exactly are you supposed to maneuver around that because most of us are to be very honest we didn't go to school to learn about this because. so watch the interview make sure you subscribe and make sure down in the description below since this is my birthday i don't know whether when you'll be watching this but uh, the thing's falling from the sky you know? <laughs> so yeah see you at the end of this video okay smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell now look who i have here i have joel smarter hi. hi how are you doing very fine uh welcome to mini money mm -hmm. and today in today's video i have brought this guest because he's an expert when it comes to real estate and real estate investment and that is what we are going to be discussing and seeing okay can we young people do this thing yeah is it out of reach are the stock uh are the, are the odds stacked against us so i think that is how i'm going to open up Joel, introduce yourself and then we can move from there. Hello, my name, as you said, is Joel Smata, a real estate agent in Nairobi, Kenya. And if you're looking for anything to do with housing, plots, land, anything to do with property, there is no other thing, no other way to talk to me. I don't even think. <laughs> Sales persons, <laughs> uh, this is, so this is what you do. How, how, how do you like this? Do you like this job? Don't you like it? Should young people go into this as a career? What would you advise? <laughs> If you're not patient, uh -huh. if you're not a patient person, if you don't want fast money, this is not. If you want fast money, that is, don't do this business. Okay. Yeah. So you need to be patient and really you need patient. to wait for the money, put it for the yes. ball. But if you're willing to do the work okay. and wait, this is the best business ever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So if you going to take your his words for it, then I think this is a good career to even pursue in case you're in that juncture of your life. But this is what we want to discuss today is about investments, yeah, real estate investment. Joel, I have never met anybody who does not want to have a rental property. Uh -huh. Tell someone today if you win one million, mm -hmm. what will you do? Tell me shamba. If you win one hundred million, yeah. what will you do? I'll buy a piece of land mm -hmm. and then I'll build rentals. Every single Kenyan, I'm like the Kenyans are around me. Kenyans are around me, let me correct that. Mm -hmm. Kenyans are around, around me. You, yeah. They want to they really want to, you know, uh, get rental property. Mm -hmm. Um what would you say about that? First of all, is is the hype even real? Mm -hmm. Like is it the best thing if you put a rental property, you can now relax and uh, wait for old age. Is, is, is that the case? <laughs> for real estate, yes. A hundred percent yes, and slightly above one percent no. Okay. In in this sense, if if you're buying for say land, mm -hmm. land is in Kenya especially, mm -hmm. please do. Don't even think. When it okay. comes to land, don't think. Just don't buy. think buy. <laughs> in Kenya, don't think when it comes to land. You should put that in your yeah. you put that in your in your card, yeah? <laughs> don't think, just buy. buy. Yeah. Because you find in Kenya most of the very high chances or most of the time based on our history, mm -hmm. it has always been going up and up and up and up. So the value keeps shooting. Yeah, for land. It's mm -hmm. always been going up. Even if the issues here and there, the economy is not doing well here and there, it still goes up and up and up. Okay. For for houses and all that depends on the location, obviously. Mm -hmm. Even the land, yes, but for houses it depends on the location okay. and what's happening there in future. Okay, what's yeah. happening there in the future? So you need to be very futuristic. You need to have wait a minute, uh, a large, loads of amounts of knowledge on yeah. the economy of scale, what is happening here, how what is the government planning, especially the government. If you are Kenyan, especially you need to know what the government what, is planning. What the government is planning. Then, yes. Yeah. Like, it depends when it comes to houses and rental proper, property, location, location, location. Yeah, always. Always. Always, yeah. Okay, but then now the bigger question is um, real estate is scary because 
all I think millions, 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 and where am I going to get all these millions to invest in real estate? So as a young person, is it even possible to invest in real estate? Yeah. It is? Yes. Like, just think about a typical young person earning, even let's say, less than 100,000 per month. That's even a lot. Even, okay, 50. Yeah. If That's you feel the these people can still find a way to invest in real estate. Yes. The, the, the only, the, before I say, say the points of why it should start it like that, uh -huh. is the problem we have is we are thinking too big, uh -huh. yet you have still so little right now. Yeah. What you do in real estate is start small. You start small? You have to start small. Okay. So if you're earning, say, 50, 50 mm -hmm. 50K, mm -hmm. how does your account look, look like after three, four, five months? Do you have some money left? So have you been saving or not? Because in real estate, you will find. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody uses other people's money to buy. They don't use their own money. money. Okay. But the one thing in real estate you need to have is money down. What we call money down is a deposit here. Okay. So you need to have at least 10% of the value of the property that you're looking on to buy. Mm -hmm. And most companies here in this country, you, they, they have they're a bit lenient in terms of uh, they have lenient in terms of how much, how long you can pay. Some companies you can give you 24 months to pay with no interest. Okay. Some companies out here have zero percent interest. So if, if it's five million, then they'll give you in six years to pay for the same amount with no interest. Okay. But if if you're not thinking of starting that in that small amount that you have, yeah. And then stop, millennials stop thinking of buying property just to be known you have property. Property is not that is not how you buy. It is not a car. But you see people do that when you're told eh, you 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 <laughs> <laughs> the memes are created mm. where you all you want is to have a TikTok TikTok by your name when your peers have the leads. Oh, yeah. Then there's like a pressure. Mm -hmm. Hey, I also need to have a little lead. I want to be <laughs> a landowner. I want to be a homeowner. Uh -huh. And so people just kind of rush into it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So when it comes to property, you need to look at quite a number of things, especially location, whether the values will go up and all that, uh, while you're actually investing there. And it's this is not an emotional business. This is not a car. I'll say that again. It's not a car. It's not a car. A car you can buy and decide I'll sell it tomorrow. Yeah. It's gone down in value, but you can feel it through this. Mm -hmm. When it comes to things like land, yeah. you need to buy based on why. On why? Yeah. So why are you buying a piece in, of land is in Bushago? You are going to Nanyuki to mm -hmm. buy land now. Mm -hmm. The question is on your mind should be why? It's because it's, it's, property is going up, there's something the government is doing, the British Army is down there, there's something they're planning to do. So for property here, mm -hmm. it's some time to come, it will, you will need to some come. like areas where you have my hand, you need some uh, some some property where if you have land there you can lease it out to somebody to build some holiday homes. Yeah. That's what you should be thinking of. And don't think of how much money do I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's how much money can I save. Okay. Yeah. So we first begin with saving. Yes. From saving, uh, we now start looking for these other financials with the best deals possible yes. and get into real estate investments. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when I think about it, you know, do you, you have people like me, people who look like me buying houses? Very or, many. Really? Yeah. Young people? Very many. Most of you the buyers so? are, are, are below 35 years old. 35? Below. below. Yeah, most of my buyers are 35 years old. Yo, who, who are you? Who, who are you? Are you a homeowner? Please <laughs> let us know in the comments down below because mm -hmm. some young people are actually buying houses. Yeah, a lot of it because, because you, you find most most guys nowadays have actually learned. You see, we were taught when I just uh, take you back to last month, December. Mm. Most of you went to Sharks. If your mom or your dad has not invested in that shop or that house, yeah. where would you be going to? Yeah, that's true. So most guys have actually come to the understanding that when when it comes to owning a plot or a house, they have to have it because at in future I need this thing to either get me alone to do something, get me alone to do a business and all that, or me build my house there. Yeah. Or somebody comes and leads that out to they lease out to somebody else to do something with the land. Okay. And land, land even if you burn it, <laughs> you pour water on it, nothing ah, happens to nothing it. Nothing happens to it. Yeah, yeah. you see how you pay for that. And millennials are starting to understand that. Mm -hmm. So most guys, I have, just to finish this, I had a guy, I had a guy who had a, a range of some, two of them. That guy is 32, right now I think he's 33. Can you give me a number? I'm just, I'm joking, I'm joking guys, I'm joking. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, he didn't, he didn't know, he, he has properties uh -huh. before, he has apartments here and there. 
but he's renting out just to point out mm -hmm. he has property but he's renting mm -hmm. anyway so at that time there was a deal i had for him a deal is when you have a property undervalued uh -huh. or say there's a problem with the person who's selling to the property maybe they need money, money. Yeah. so they're selling it way below the market value okay so me and say let me call this guy because he, he has property maybe he can offset the money quickly mm -hmm. we get i get to his office we talk he's he's quick to to like jump into it but he doesn't have the cash okay so me i tell you why don't you sell all of your cars what do you want you do with, with the cars? cars yeah yeah the guy is telling me now who to who so me because being a salesperson <laughs> i call i call up two two guys who sell cars along the gong road and all that they, they take the car very fast like two i think it was two three days it was valued and all that they took the car gave me the money mm -hmm. and bought the house what i'm very trying to tell you this story is most of the times you find millennials have access to money, but they don't know that they have it. Ah, okay. Yeah. So there's money available to you. Yes, but you don't know that Different you platforms. have it. Mm -hmm. It's just that you've not met an expert. Let me point it out as an expert because mm -hmm. I'm not a financial advisor. But you've not met an expert to tell you, you can actually buy this property if you offset this, or you take a loan using this, or you take a loan against your, your salary and all that. Yeah. You don't okay. know that. That's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah. And and it's interesting to hear that most of your clients are actually young people. Are they young people of a specific profession or of a specific gender? Like, do you say? Would you say there's a pattern mm -hmm. that you can see when you look at your clients over the last two years, for instance? Yes. Yes. There is a. Okay. First of all, there, there's this myth of the people who buy property are very rich guys and all that. Very rich and very yeah. old. And yeah. very old yeah. it's not actually true in professions i've seen all types of people buy houses okay. including teachers mm -hmm. now and young young very young guys now most of the times you'll find um right now i don't know what exactly is happening when it comes to especially houses apartments so many women are buying so many women and are, are and also land. this mm -hmm. is a very plot and all that it, 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 so many are buying Okay, that's, that's very interesting. Cheers to women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I think that it's the security that they feel like I, I, I need this I need this plot, I need this house, so that in, in the event I actually need money, I can actually do something with it. Or I have kids and I need them to be secure. Yeah. Because there is the security, as it says, there is security to have to own property. property. It's true. There is a lot of security. Yes, and the security, because millennials don't understand where the security comes from, is if I go to a bank, it can easily give me money to do be a shara, to do, to do shara, so many other things because of property. Try that with a car. It becomes a problem. Yeah, a car, a car depreciates all the time. Mm. Yeah, especially some of the, the very expensive cars, they depreciate the minute you give them the key. So if you want money against that that kind of a car, there is no way you'll ever get more yeah. than the, the amount that you actually spend to buy. Okay. That, that's, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. So we need the millennials need to start thinking and strategizing on how we can start investing on and in real estate. Yeah, and start small. Stop thinking too big. Just start what is starting small, Mana? Starting yeah. small it's is real estate, Mana. <laughs> what is starting small? Starting small is the way you used to be told. Let me point it. It's the way you used to be told by our parents. Like what a cooking billion to the expense unataka you want a range of over and you're making twenty G's, thirty G's. First get first get that small category. Yeah. And then once you we'll make some more money, get the bigger bigger car. Yeah. Then when you make now you're starting to make millions. Now you can pay, get the luxury car. So starting small per se is how much are you making? Right now. Right now. Okay. If you want to buy a property like uh, say plots for three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and I'm making fifty G's a month. Honestly, mm -hmm. I can even buy ten plots. Okay, so if you're earning, mm -hmm. let me take that, let me, let me, let me come to that mark. You're earning 50 Gs a month. Yeah. And you're looking to buy plots over 500,000. Yes. You said you can even buy 10. Yes. So what is your excuse, by the way? What is your excuse that and you And they're going to ask them? themselves how they're going to do that. It's because you don't say. Ah, okay. So we come down to very fundamental principles of, of, saving. of saving. Yes. Okay. Because you see, how you're going to buy that, that plot, that mm -hmm. five, five, ten, twenty plots. Mm -hmm.